Hey everyone, I'm Daniel, founder of Hey Hire, smoothly connecting hourly job seekers with local employers. 10 million establishments in the US are understaffed on entry level labor. And in less than a year, Hey Hire was able to fully staff 73 of our 78 business users and helped increase employer retention by 35%. Like Isaac, who needed to staff up his new coffee shop. Isaac is very particular about who he wants to hire and needed a way to ensure his candidates are high quality and most importantly, local. He'd normally get an inbox flooded with mostly irrelevant spray and pray applications where even the promising candidates almost never respond until he was introduced to Hey Hire, where he hired 74 employees in three months. And here's how. First, he created his profile with pre-populated info from Google Maps added his first position with a description and requirements, created his custom QR banner he could then post outside the cafe on his socials and website for local job seekers to discover. Now meet Jen, student University of Texas who's looked for a local job with flexible hours. Jen was walking around campus when she ran into Isaac's QR code, which she then scanned, created her profile in five minutes, then applied for a server position in just two taps. She could then open the map and apply to other businesses around her with that same profile. Now that Isaac has candidates applying, he can open his dashboard, compare his applicants side by side, open Jen's profile to see if she fits, and start a chat with Jen she'll receive as an SMS so they can communicate until the interview is scheduled. Isaac was able to fully staff his new business with top candidates before even opening, making it easy to focus on the other importance of starting a new business. Isaac pays $100 a month for unlimited positions, applicants, chats, and users, compared to other players in the space with a significantly higher time to hire which is everything in these high turnover spaces. Hey Hire has the lowest recorded time to hire of two days for three major reasons. We geovet candidates to ensure they're local and relevant, our comparison tools preventing employers from engaging unwanted candidates, and most importantly, the instant connection between employers and job seekers with our communication tools. We're at 24K ARR and 21% month over month growth from only six months of bootstrap sales with 96% annual retention. There are 10 million businesses in our industry in the U.S. alone, providing a $10 billion market. Hourly employer retention is 85% monthly, so even the smallest business with 10 employees in rotation will likely need to make a hire every month. To achieve $100 million in ARR, we'll need to reach 0.5% of the global market. To do so, we're executing two commitment letters, bringing in 50-plus locations, expanding to Miami in March, building HR platform integrations and strategic SaaS partnerships while utilizing our advisor network to enter the enterprise market simultaneously. The team has a combined 35 plus years of recruiting experience, such as head of hiring for Starbucks and Applebee's. We face this problem firsthand, which is how we understand every step of the hiring process and our obsession became solving this problem for us and our many friends in the industry. We're Hey Hire and we're changing the hiring game. All right, thanks Daniel, well done. Steve, we'll start with you first. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, a lot of energy. I uh, enjoyed it. <clears throat> uh, I, I have a question around, you know, in, in two-sided marketplace, you have the supply and demand and, you know, obviously the, the, the hard part here are the applicants. And the, the, the question is, is just how do you um, so just talk a little more about how you would onboard, you know, more applicants as you expand, because I don't think you can rely just on QR codes around town. And then also speak to any type of um, retention statistics you would have or predict in the job once they're placed in these jobs because that's the bigger problem I, I think I've been hearing from people and you know we, we we had a company in the portfolio that did something you know a bit of a cousin to, to what you're doing probably more complimentary but the, we kept hearing back that it was the retention more than the actual hiring so those are the two questions I would have all right thanks so much Steve Nadia you have got your hand raised Yes, uh, similar question, complimentary. Um, you know, th this market is saturated, you know, indeed, ladders, and I know you touch on your competitors. Do you mind elaborating a bit more on what are you doing differently? Because um, why would someone go to, to a higher instead of indeed, you know, besides pricing? It, it, it didn't make any, I, I couldn't understand really what were you doing differently. Uh, it, are you doing any kind of um, manual intervention? And if that's the case, then elaborate a little bit more on, on scalability as well, because you, you cannot do this manually. All right. Thanks, Nadia. And Paul, you got your hand raised. Go ahead. Yeah. Hi. So mine was actually on price. So on the competition grid, it looks like your price was about $300 and, and the competitors were about six to nine hundred dollars so how did you arrive at the price and is it something you're considering you think it's your advantage is having the lowest price all right great oh Paige, go ahead 
Can I add on to Paul's question? I thought that you provided great value and had a really fast time to hire. So I was curious, um, in addition to Paul's question, whether you are thinking of raising your rates, because I feel like you're providing a lot of value to those companies. All right. Terrific questions. You have two minutes for those, Daniel. Okay. Thank you for your questions, everyone. Um, so, uh, Steve, so it is a two-sided marketplace and the uh, thing that we've noticed the most, and this is from our feedback that we got from our current employers that are using the platform, their favorite part about it is that their job seekers are actually local. Um, so sticking to these QR codes, which has been 70% of the job applicants found the employers through these QR codes, is definitely what we plan on sticking to, um, which will also segue into the next question about the retention. Um, so one thing that as well, every employer is very happy about is the retention that has increased. It's something we recently started serving our users about, um, and it has been proven to be 35% higher. The main reason for that is the vicinity of the location of where the job seeker lives and the place of work. Um, especially in these hourly jobs, uh, in these entry-level positions, commute is a very big problem. So by uh, making sure that the job seekers are close to the employers, uh, we actually increase retention by that. Um, let me pull up, sorry. So um, for your question, Nadia, about the market being saturated, uh, our, our, our key difference is two things. First of all, like I said earlier, making sure that those job seekers are local and then also the communication. So one thing uh, that we've always seen is that instant connection between job seekers and employers is really making our, the time to hire super low. Uh, by having the uh, employer communicate with the job seeker right away as soon as they apply. Uh, we've seen in multiple cases uh, a time to hire of just a few hours, giving the employer the ability to catch the job seeker while they're still around and call them for an interview on the spot. Um, so for Paul, in terms of price, um, we did start this as um, from our experience with paying a lot for every other platform. And I see we're running out of time. I'll answer this question offline. Thank you for your questions, everyone.